is math, and we are going to be doing simple addition using both the heavenly and the earthly beads in the tens column. So following the same format as we did before, just taking little baby steps at a time. Tens you can handle. This, this is easy. So let's start with a really just a piece of cake problem. Ten. How do we make the number 10 on our abacus? There we go. 10, a 1, and a 0. So let's do the problem. 10 plus 5. Oh, this is a piece of cake. Look at that. 10 plus 5 is a 1 and a 5. What number is that? It's 15. 10 plus 5 is 15. All right, clear your abacus. Let's do one a little bit harder. Okay, here we go. I'm going to throw... A real curveball at you. 55. How do we do the number 55 on your abacus? There's the number 55 on our abacus. So the problem, the addition problem that we're going to do is 55 plus 2. Oh, piece of cake. You can do that. 55 plus 2 right there. What number is that? 5 and a 7, 57. You can handle that. All right, let's, here we go. 24 plus 5. 24. And all we do to add 5, 24 plus 5, what is that? Oops. 24 plus 5, well, that's 29 now. 29. Okay. This is going to be a hard one. Yeah, it's not going to be hard. This is going to be a fun one. All right, so here we go. 31, put 31 on your abacus. Well, 31 is written a three and a one. Three, oops, one. There's the number 31 on our abacus. All right, so now we're going to add seven. Let's see if you can do this. You, a piece of cake. A seven on an abacus is comprised of a five and a two. Five and a two. I just added seven. What number am I left with? Well, this is a three here, and this is an eight here. So 31 plus seven is 38. A three and an eight makes 38. Okay, we'll do one more, two more. We'll do two more. Okay, 21 plus 55. You'll like this one. 21 plus 55. Oh, that's an easy. I, I like those ones where we just slide down two fives. But what number are we left with? Let's read it. 76. So there we go. The number 21 plus 55 is 76. All right, one more. One last one. Do a big number. How about 89? 89 plus 10. Uh, here we go. So 89. Let's make the number 8 and a 9. Here's the number 89. And to add 10, a 10 is written a 1 and a 0. So all we have to do is slide up one bead in the tens column. And what number are we left with? Wow. That's, I, you know, if I'm looking at this right. That looks like the biggest number that we can put in the tens column, or in the tens, a 90 and 9. So 99, that's the biggest number we can get. So 89 plus 10 is 99. Now go print off your activity sheet and just work through the problems. Make sure to use your abacus. Don't try and do them so much in your head, but just key through it, or move the beads through it. The problems are not so much to get you good at math, but to get you used to visualizing the math through your abacus.